Muscle support. Skeletal systems. There are two types of skeletal systems, external, which is known as the exoskeleton, and internal, which is the endoskeleton. Humans have an internal skeletal system made up of bones held together by cartilage. Exoskeletons are associated with mollusks and insects such as spiders and crustaceans. Skeletal system. The skeletal system is composed of bones. Most of the bones are internally linked. The function of the skeletal system is to support the body used in movement and to store minerals. It is also the site of hematopoiesis producing blood and immune cells. Types of muscles. Muscle groups are usually arranged into antagonistic pairs, each one performing the opposite function. For instance, A, flexors or extensors, and B, abductors or adductors. Rectus femoris, part of the quadriceps, involved in extending the leg. Biceps femoris, part of the hamstring, flexes the leg. Flexon extension. Tibialis anterior dorsiflex, the foot. And gastrocnemius, part of the calf muscle, plantar flexes the foot. What is the function of a skeleton? What's the main function of a skeleton? The skeleton serves to support the organism. It is also important to protect soft organs and tissues. Human skeleton organization. The human skeleton can be divided into axial and appendicular regions. The axial plates are the skull bones of the middle ear, spine, and chest. The appendicular region mostly include the body's appendages, for instance, shoulder, arms, hands, pelvic region, legs, and feet. Human bones overview. These include the skull, sternum, pelvis, carpals, tarsals, patella, phalanges, ribs, and vertebral column. Bone structure. A bone is a matrix of cells, proteins, and calcium. The outer periosteum is the hardest layer. Going from the inside to the outside of the bone, you have bone marrow, spongy bone, compact bone, and periosteum. Compact bone contains blood vessels that deliver oxygen and nutrients to the bone. Spongy bone contains a supportive meshwork of proteins. Bone marrow produces new blood and immune cells for the body. Five types of bones. There are five types of bones. Long bones, carpals. Short bones, for instance, wrist and ankle. Flat bones, the skull. Irregular bones, spine and hip. And sesamoid bones, the patella. Bone remodeling. Osteoclast is a kind of bone cell that removes bone tissue in a process known as resorption. Osteoblasts control the amount of bone resorbed. Osteoblasts form bone. Osteoclasts have multiple nuclei. Osteoclast resorb bone. Bone is constantly being reshaped by osteoclasts and osteoblasts. How are bones connected? Bones are connected by joints. Joints are both strong and flexible. Muscle lever action. 
Skeletal muscle produce movement by contracting and exerting force on tendons, which in turn pull on the bones. When producing a body movement, the bones act as levers and the joints act as fulcrums. A lever is acted on by two different forces, the resistance to movement, that is the force to overcome, and the effort to move the load. The origin and insertion of the muscle affords mechanical advantage. As the insertion point of the muscle is far away from the load to be moved, this allows powerful movement. Types of joints. Joints allow bones to move without damage. Characteristics, movement, connection, and example. Compared with the type of joint. Immovable joint. Has no movement, the connection is fused. An example is the skull. Slightly movable joint has limited movement, the connection is separated, and an example is the spinal cord freely movable. In this case, movement is in one or more direction. The connection is ligaments and the example is the knee. Skeleton and movement. Movement in vertebrates depends on muscles attached to the skeleton by tendons. The skeleton provides leverage for movement, a kind of fulcrum. Without the skeleton, movement would be restricted. Blood cell production. Hematopoiesis occurs in the skeleton. Hematopoiesis is the generation of blood cells. This happens in the red bone marrow. Bones and mineral storage. Bone is important as a storage site for minerals that the body needs and uses. This is a major site for the storage of calcium. During times of low calcium intake, bone tissue can be used as a source. Muscle and circulation. Smooth muscle in the walls of the precapillary arteriolus contract and cause the peripheral vascular resistance to be increased, thereby increasing systemic blood pressure. The pressure in veins is low and the contractions of nearby muscles aid in the movement of blood through the venous system. Muscle contractions and heat. Muscle contraction accounts for most of the heat generated and required in the human body. The chemical reactions occurring in muscles during contractions generate heat. Specifically, glucose is converted to ATP, which powers the movement of actin against myosin to create muscle contraction. If the normal body temperature drops even 1 to 2 degrees centigrade, this can result in shivering. Shivering is an involuntary rapid contraction of the muscles, which generates more heat quickly to counter the drop in body temperature. Structure of three basic muscle types. Muscles are organized into three basic types, striated, cardiac, and smooth. Striated muscle. Skeletal muscle is striated and attached to bones. Skeletal muscle facilitates movement by applying forces to bones and joints through its contraction. They are generally under voluntary control. Skeletal muscle has striations due to many sarcomeres basic unit of contraction. Individual muscle myofibrils make up a muscle fiber. There are two types of muscle fibers. Red, which is slow twitch, have more mitochondria and are associated with endurance, and white, which is fast twitch, having fewer mitochondria and are explosive. Striated muscle sarcomere. Sarcomeres are the basic unit of muscle. Made up of actin and myosin, skeletal muscles contract according to the sliding filament model. Sliding filament model. After the signal to contract comes from the central nervous system, an action potential spreads over the muscle fiber. Calcium is released and binds to tropomyosin, 
which unblocks actin binding sites. Myosin, bound with ATP, binds to actin, hydrolyzes ATP, and the released energy delivers a power stroke. This hydrolysis also causes the myosin head to turn and ratchet the Z lines closer together. Cardiac muscle. Cardiac muscle is an involuntary striated muscle found exclusively in the heart. Cardiac muscle has the unique properties A stimulates its own contraction without the required electrical impulse from the central nervous system and B special pacemaker cells in the sinoatrial node located in the right atrium spontaneously contract and send electrical impulses through the heart. Normally, the resting heart rate is between 70 and 80 beats per minute determined by the pacemaker cells. The CNS doesn't directly create the impulse to contract but modulates it through the autonomic nervous system. Smooth muscle Smooth muscle is an involuntary, non-striated muscle found in the walls of hollow organs like the bladder and in blood vessels. Smooth muscle can be directly stimulated by the CNS or can react to hormones secreted locally such as vasodilators and vasoconstrictors. Smooth muscle is spindle shaped and contains actin and myosin although they are not arranged in a sarcomere. Smooth muscle hydrolyzes ATP and contracts by myosin and actin fibers sliding over each other. Smooth muscle fibers are arranged in sheets within the walls of organs.